about. But with the smart picks, you can basically go to plan view. I'm going to zoom in. So from this zoom level, which is pretty far above everything, I'm going to go ahead and use my smart picks. I'm going to say done to this. Go into my, this is another way of getting to the place, a point activity pane. Click this. I'm going to go to use lowest point. I can be assured that it's still going to pick the point on the ground and it's not going to pick the car noise. Okay, and This is very nice. So you have no danger of picking any of this car noise because it's always going to pick the lowest Z in the area. So you don't have to worry too much about editing your point cloud when you bring it into Topo to start laying down uh, lowest points or ground points or edge points. Uh, plus you can also visually see in these boxes what you're actually accepting of point two. All right. And that covers all of the smart picks. Uh, use them in conjunction while um, uh, coding your point cloud for the best effect. It's a great way to go ahead and place points without uh, particularly worrying about um, a wrong pick. Uh, actually, uh, we can uh, 